Hello there, I have published my dream game into uh, get, uh, Google Play Store and the one constant problem I have been facing is crashing. Uh, so if you didn't know, this is the game. Um, it looks just gorgeous. You can just right now go ahead and download it for free. It's fun. Uh, and if you just go ahead and give a score to me, let me change the graphics uh, frame rate limits, just messing with everything. Um, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate if you just go ahead and score the game for me. Um, so crashing. Crashing has been a real, real pain for uh, developing this game. And I found out that so far I've been facing three issues that were uh, causing the crashing. The first one. Uh, so if you go into the edit, project settings, and if you come in here, um, let me fix my frame rate. Um, if you come in here into the, where was it? Uh, yeah, Android Material Quality OpenGL Mobile or Android Quality Vulkan. Um, if you've changed these, chances are you're facing crashes on some devices. I have no idea why that is, but uh, your best bet is just leave this as the default values. Don't touch anything in the Vulkan and OpenGL Mobile. And I'd suggest that in the um, Android tab, don't use Vulkan. Um, the performance is not better uh, it's just it makes the game a little bit worse uh, it makes the game a little bit heavier the size will be a little bit heavier because it's compiling shaders for Vulkan as well um, the Vulcans here support Vulkan I mean I haven't really found any useful uh, thing in using this okay the second problem I had faced was uh, regarding ambient occlusion so it's not the uh, screen space ambient occlusion, what we've seen in consoles and um, PC for a very long time. It's not that. Uh, it's called ground truth ambient occlusion. It's specific for mobile. Uh, it's called mobile ambient occlusion here. If you're using it, chances are uh, there are devices, probably all devices like I'm pretty sure that Samsung Galaxy S9 will crash on this. If this is checked and uh, you I mean, uh, mobile and r dot mobile dot ambient occlusion. If this ambient occlusion is set to, I mean, you can change this. This is read only. Uh, Ambient occlusion quality is set to zero. It means that the ambient occlusion is not working. It's not being in the um, uh, rendering processes at all. But it's going to crash on something like Samsung Galaxy S9. So it's better now in Unreal Engine 5. In Unreal Engine 4, there were a lot more uh, devices that wouldn't support this. But right now, it's a little bit better the the, uh, the situation is a little bit different but still there are devices that don't support this um, and some of them are really good devices like with uh, devices that are having six gigabytes of RAM their chipset is not as bad I mean not uh, they, sometimes their chipset is good too like Galaxy S9 but they just the architecture is just different. So don't use mobile uh, ambient occlusion. Also, if you're using deferred shading, um, well, if you're facing uh, crashes that aren't logical that you haven't seen, maybe this could be the problem as well, maybe not, but this is always worth checking. If you're facing problems, just set back to forward shading and try again. If that fixes your problem, then yeah, the problem's fixed. Um, I found forward shading uh, a little bit better looking and the performance is a little bit better. Deferred shading, you have TAA and 
a uh, plenty of reflection which if you just enable the game will be a complete chaos in all the devices and I'm pretty sure RAM problem will be a thing there are people that are trying to play the game with 2GB of RAM 2GB of RAM means they have less than 500 megabytes of free RAM for my game to play on their devices and if you add plenty of reflection and some shaders for TA as well well <laughs> that's not gonna look right <laughs> well they can't really play the game and they might face memory leaking and af well crashing comes after memory leaking and that will just uh, cause the crashing graph to go through the roof which is not what we want in Google Play Store the third problem I was facing uh, this is a weird one we have a node called open level by name or by object reference open level let it come here well this is a pretty useful node uh, but there's a problem with it it requests all the memory all the resources from the OS and that in Android is a problem uh, mostly in older devices again some devices may shock you with 6 gigabytes of RAM I mean 6 gigabytes is not a lot some 5 year 6 year old devices have uh, 6 gigabytes of RAM sometimes 8 gigabytes of RAM but their architecture is a little bit old their OS might be a little bit older uh, and old OS means that it can't handle resources very well and if you request everything from it it just says that well this doesn't seem right I have to uh, specify some resources to myself to other more important top priority applications as well so what I'm gonna do I'm going to Clo uh, force close this application that's requesting this amount of resources which is your application your game so if you use this open level uh, it will just crash the game just BAM uh, application crashed so you can't really use open level so instead you have to go ahead and use uh, level streaming which again you have to change a lot of stuff in project settings uh, we have a tab called streaming in here you need to make sure that async loading uh, th not in the package section use background uh, level streaming is enabled and these are not the default values I have a complete separate uh, video explaining all of this uh, you can just go ahead and type in async in my channel and fa find a lot of different stuff a lot of probably more deep stuff about this uh, but the thing is that the l lower the values the uh, less resources you are requesting from the <coughs> OS uh, one means that one millisecond one uh, yeah one millisecond per frame so it was set to 25 it was set to something like really really high I just made sure that these are uh, lowered by a lot you can just pause the video make sure that these are your value or maybe you can just go ahead and use even lower values but the thing is that the lower the values the uh, more it's gonna take to load everything the higher the value it's gonna less uh, time to take less time to load everything but chances are you're gonna face crashes more so that's the thing um, but here's the thing if you've set everything right you're not using open level you're you've set everything right in here but uh, how do you open the level well you have to add them in the sub level so it's like you have all the levels not in here you've created the jungle the showcase map the main menu everything and you are transitioning between them with the uh, open level save this one a little bit so right now you have to go at file new level name it something mine is main level 
and then come in here uh, add existing and add all the levels that you have created for your game in here then when you have everything set up in here just double click on them oh, no don't double click on them <laughs> double click on them we'll just make them visible um, in the level details make sure that initially loaded and initially visible are disabled uh, this is exactly the same as open level if they are enabled the game will crash again uh, and also right click change streaming method make sure it's always set on blueprint not always loaded so we're saying that these aren't loaded at all so when can we load them well I have a main menu right now and the first thing that I'm going to do when uh, the main level plays because main level is my uh, game default map the game starts main level loads in it doesn't crash the game uh, main level loads in and then what will it do well it will it, this is the uh, a custom event I've created but it just comes in here <coughs> I've created a widget for my loading I'm adding it to it I'm playing the animation for the uh, widget and everything for the loading and then a delay is always needed in this case it's like sensitive stuff it, a lot can go wrong in level streaming so make sure you're always using some delay here and there there's nothing wrong with that uh, and I'm making sure that every level is unloaded um, so they all should be unloaded this is the way you load and unload the real way the async way so just get streaming just what you see here get streaming level just type in get streaming level and then you have to type the name and should be loaded you have to first load it and then make it visible so loading doesn't make the game lag but making them visible makes the game lag and that's because of shader, compil shader compilation or maybe you have a lot of actors so keep, keep that in mind it's a little bit better the situation is not as worse uh, at, not as, ba as bad as it was in Origin 4 but it's not like the best you'll have a little bit of lagging that's why we're using uh, loading screens in um, Android if you want no loading screens if you want to use some tunnels to just cover the loading screens to do everything in the background you'll experience a little bit of lagging just keeping that keep that in mind and then when uh, I'm checking every point two seconds that if everything's loaded uh, don't do anything just check again check again if everything's if something is loaded check again if everything's unloaded then you're ready to load the next step and the next step is uh, I'm again checking the ready to load if it's not ready uh, just check again if it's ready to load then I have to uh, load the main menu so should be loaded should be visible it's gonna load it and it's gonna make it visible and for my loading screen because loading screen is just there and it's just rotating rotating doing the animation I'm setting a timer up uh, by event and then uh, this is the way you check if the level is loaded or if the level is visible again get streaming level main menu and then is level visible and is level loaded because we, when it's loaded it doesn't mean that it's there it just means that it's loaded into the memory it's not there yet you have to make it visible so should be visible makes the game makes the level uh, visible makes it level to be there so if it's is it visible is it loaded and if both are true then we're going to clear the uh, the timer and make sure that the loading screen is gone and etc and etc etc this is the procedure we are having in our loading levels not to crash the game 
to just have a smooth experience to um, not the players hate us <laughs> to be simple um, and that's it if you wanna make the game a little bit lighter as well you can uh, max FPS you can limit the FPS to 30 as well in your game so maybe do this in the execute con console command and just type in, in here and maybe you will have it in the after the event, event begin play so this is executed and you are no longer bound to try to render uh, more than 30 which is not needed in most cases or 60s so because sometimes the phones some not sometimes they will try to achieve the best of the best the most FPS possible if, if the FPS is not capped which is not good in a mobile device um, and that's it these were the problems I had faced if these didn't fix your problem then um, I mean I'm sorry I haven't faced anything else maybe chat GPT might help ask ask it maybe not maybe on your forums but I hope this uh, video helps you and I hope this will fix your problem if you're facing it and I wish you a great day bye